All right, there we go. The time is 652, 59 degrees. Getting out the door, traffic is light. Hey, for those commuting home, you may be uh, driving through some downpours uh, later on this afternoon and tonight. Let's get to it. Show you what we got. Storms developing later today, uh, then a little bit of a break and then showers. Maybe a rumble of thunder overnight tomorrow. 50s to around 60 with showers developing once again in the afternoon. So to break today down, quiet this morning, quiet all the way through the noon hour. And as we take you into the early afternoon, it does appear, though, that we are going to see the active weather starting at about three with that chance of thunderstorms continuing into this evening. We'll try to time it out for you best that we can as we take you into um, future look, which we'll get to here in a second. All right, so there we go. Active weather starting at three to four o'clock. Where is the action now? It's very quiet. There are some showers down here in northern PA. That's in parts of uh, ooh, Cleveland's going to get rocked with this thunderstorm complex. That's going to hold off for us until a little bit later on. The front we're watching is still back here in Michigan. It has not ignited yet, but it will over in Ontario, and then those storms will drop upon us as we head into the afternoon. Southerly winds out ahead of the front are going to allow temperatures to warm. It's going to get humid behind the front, the northerly breeze bringing us the coldest air of the season starting tomorrow. Severe weather possible with the downpours, small hail, damaging winds in spots, heavy rain. And as mentioned, there is a small threat of maybe a quick little tornadic spin up here, a little tornado uh, down here in Chautauqua, Cattaraugus, maybe even Southern Erie County, we'll see. So what I wanna do is take you through future look. Okay, this is the latest in, and what I think it does is shows you a good idea of what we think is gonna happen. A sign of a squall line coming down. Here it is. The timing may not be perfect, but between three and five, and I think this squall line will attach back towards Buffalo and down into the uh, South Towns as well as it kind of fills in and continues to track to the south and east. See that? Watch what happens. And then it kind of just takes off the farther south and east it goes. This is what could cause some damaging winds and very heavy rain. There's that window between about three and eight o'clock tonight. Okay. Long range forecast cooler tomorrow with showers Friday and Saturday look fine warming up a bit showers again Sunday, Monday and Tuesday of next week. Same for Buffalo too with the shower chances increasing again tomorrow afternoon 50s for highs Thursday and Friday showers Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, the southern tier. I think you're going to see the strongest storms potential. Well, we all have a chance of strong storms today, including the southern tier. But yeah, this last day of summer, kind of appropriate, right? Right. Low and all of this today. ushering those cold temps yeah. in tomorrow. Yeah, first day of fall. I mean, fall begins tomorrow night, but you get the idea. Most of the day, tomorrow and Friday in the 50s. We haven't had a, that's been like months since it's been like that, so.